I'm now going to attempt to demonstrate the bi-directional communication ability of the sound card method using this setup. It's the programming board I made, but it has the ATtiny44A in it, and it's attached to the transistor and attached to a small sound card here. And this is only using one channel of each, the microphone and the speaker. So, first thing I'm going to do is open up the listen program. This listening program will continuously listen to that sound card and dump out any data that comes out of the chip. Now the program on the chip is uh, currently designed to output the value of four variables. Here is the actual code of the AVR uh, program. I'll post that on the website. And here's the send routine right here. What it's going to do every time it's called is it's going to send some numbers, which you're going to ignore. It's going to send these four values, commands 1, 2, 3, and 4. Those are commands that we're going to send to the chip. And for this example, I'm just going to send them back to the computer so we know that they got there. Um, I'm going to run the clock it program. And every time I push enter, you can see this program sends data to the microcontroller. You should see the LED flash as I send it. And then every time it's received by the microcontroller, it's sent back. And these are the values in the program. To confirm it's actually doing something, I will open up the code of that Python script, scroll down, these are the four values that are being sent, 55, 56, 77, you know. I'll change the last one to 1, 2, 3, I'll save the program, and then I'll rerun it, and you can see the microcontroller got that update, 1, 2, 3. Also, to show how easy it is to have the microcontroller send new information, I'm going to add an extra line. So instead of sending just these four, I'll have it send some value, maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. It can be any size program, or I'm sorry, any size number up to, I think, 32 bits. So I just uh, recompiled it, reprogrammed the chip, and now if I send it information, it sends me the same thing back, but it also sends me this really big number, which I just put in the code. So this demonstrates once you have these functions set up, it's extremely easy to have the microchip send data to the computer, and it's really easy to have the computer send data to the microchip. So this is a, a pretty interesting application, and hopefully it can be used in the future to simplify the development process.